Good morning, your majesties. Happy Tuesday. Did you guys have a good 4th of July yesterday? Let me know what you guys did. And today is Brittany Crab's birthday. So happy birthday, Brittany Crab, if you're watching this. I love you so much. You are such an inspiration to me. I'm going to be doing a scary urban legend. And I'm going to be doing her favorite urban legend today since it's her birthday. If she watches my videos. If, you know, it's okay. Okay, so today's urban legend is Bloody Mary. Okay, you're wondering whether Bloody Mary is real or just an urban legend. Well, she's real, or at least she was. Uh-oh. This is the real story of Bloody Mary. You're, you're probably wondering if she... Okay, I already read that. Okay, according to the legend, you have to stand in the bathroom with one candle lit and say the name Bloody Mary in the, into the mirror three times in a row. It is... It is only the bravest children. It is only the bravest of children who would attempt to do this because the story says this will summon her ghost. If you see her ghostly face in the mirror, it could on, it could have one of the following terrible consequences. One, your eyes being ripped out and your face and your face horribly scarred. Or two, being found dead with claw marks all over your face and body. Three, disappearing mysteriously from the bathroom and ending up trapped in a mirror with the ghost for intended eternity. Or, yeah, or you could also be driven insane or drop dead on the spot. The history of the chanting game is based on mixed up legends and histories and history that over the years have become the main basis for the story surrounding the urban legend. The most common story told is that Bloody Mary was a witch, that she lived over a hundred years ago, who dabbled in the black arts she was found and executed. The second story is more modern. A local woman was involved in a fatal car accident and her face was horribly scarred before she died. She reappears in the mirror when summoned with that same horrific face. There's another suggestion that the name Mary Worth was derived from a victim of the Salem witch trials. The fourth story is that Bloody Mary is based on a hysterical figure, Queen Mary of England, Mary Tudor. Okay, um, it is largely believed that the origins of the names Mary Wooth and Bloody Mary came from a slight mix up of characters from history. Mary, I, Queen of England, or Mary Tudor, who regained during the Tudor period, was also commonly known as Bloody Mary. Okay. Um, she was a Catholic and earned the nickname Bloody Mary when she ordered the violent ex um, execution of numerous uh, Protestants and burned the countless people at the, at the stake of, for hearsay. During her five-year-old Reagan, oh, during her five-year-old Reagan, is that her name? Is that the name? Is that what it says? Um, she was unable to have children and suffered two fattening pregnancies. This is why it is speculated that the ver variation involving chanting I stole your baby became tangled up with the legend okay um I don't think I'm gonna finish this whole thing I'm just gonna leave it at that um let me know what you guys think of this story um yeah Bloody Mary is scary I played that too and nothing happened but I will play it for you guys if you want me to I can do a Vlogtober and do it for you guys in October. Um, but 
But anywho, if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart and the song lyrics of Taylor Swift. And happy birthday, Brittany Crab. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.